Hi. It's hit. Hi, Tane. Um, I just do a little quick in introduction. Uh, I'm Paul Cohen. Uh, I'm a um, body worker, bone yoga teacher, bone yoga body worker, acupuncturist, uh, been in the business since 1985. Um, and uh, I know a lot of people out there in the profession and um, just calling on my friends to come on podcast with me so that we can share with you and my friends can share with you some of their long experience of um, working with people and just really giving us some tools of how we might be able to navigate ourselves through these really tricky times. And um, Tane Mate, my good friend, um, my first uh, um, podcaster. I've never done this before. So Tane, welcome. Hi. Just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, will you? Thanks, Paul, for the introduction and for uh, setting up these podcasts. Uh, my name's Tane. I'm uh, a dancer, a choreographer, a yoga teacher, and a kahuna massage body worker. Nice. I love kahuna massage. Yeah, so amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I tell you, one of the podcasts that I'd like to do is to do couples massage so that we can introduce people how to do some simple massage work. So we can Sounds get, good. maybe get Sounds you good. Back. Let's do that. Yeah, and, for sure. Um, uh, people either have to be in couples or they might be able to massage themselves to help ease some tensions. Mm -hmm. So um, 24th of March, my wife's birthday today. I woke up, I forgot about her birthday. I was so in my head doing all these stuff and organizing things. So, um, big happy birthday. Happy birthday to her, please. Yeah. Uh, and so, just to give people a little bit of bearings of where we are, you and I are in New Zealand, you're in Auckland, I'm on Waiheke Island. Um, and we are basically, in about just over 24 hours, we'll have been in complete lockdown for at least four weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and it's challenging for everybody. And I'd just like to get some of your pearls of wisdoms that you might be able to share with people so that they can maybe have a bit more clarity of mind and something that you can offer to them that they can simply use now <coughs> to help them through these tricky times. Sure, sure, absolutely. Thank you, Paul. We're all facing, <clears throat> and truly we are in this all together, we are connected um, in, uh, a very simple way and that is we're experiencing this all together globally and I must acknowledge our Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern who has been uh, a leader and she's used her leadership role to guide our country sure and what I get a yeah. good sense and an amazing sense of is that we I feel supported we feel supported as a nation yeah. Knowing that no matter what life you lead, there is support there for you financially. Yes. And there is support there um, uh, in many, many ways. Immediately um, deflects a sense of tension or stress in someone who is worried about those things. Just the simple things like, how am I going to eat? How am I going to keep my family safe? How are we going to move through this time? Already through leadership, Jacinda has... Um, allows some support there so acknowledgement yeah. to that she's done an amazing job for sure mm -hmm. and as paul <clears throat> and you've mentioned as healers and as providers of the work that we do i sense and i feel as an individual that our time is now to offer our our support to community to world globally uh neighbors even yeah. Uh, our work of sharing what we do as yoga teachers, as practitioners, but also finding a different way to move out of this uh, natural downtrodden way that could possibly be, you know, I'm, I'm upset about what's happened. Um, how do I move through this time? And one way is to, as much as possible as we can for ourselves, is to keep positive. And I know that's a really, you know, cliche thing to say. But perhaps instead of my immediate advice, instead of watching in front of a television, a computer, or watching what the statistics are globally, maybe there's a new way. Maybe there's new things to do around the house. Maybe there's things to keep your mind occupied. Yeah. yeah. Another way is to, if you're moving into the body and you wish to keep it mobile, which is very, very important to our well-being and health. Yeah. 
there are practitioners offering classes uh, online yep. and free classes at that also. And I'm one of those practitioners and I know that Paul is as well. Yep. And this is an opportunity for us to, as these um, teachers, as these practitioners, to share it wholesome. To their homes who perhaps there are people many out there that are living singularly they yeah. have no family or friends this could be an opportunity to connect yeah so uh, in terms of simple tools or something that you know that maybe has worked for you or that you can suggest to people um because mm. it you know that there, there is tensions out there and it requires us to have some sort of effort to be present any tips you can offer? Yeah, sure. And you know, it's, it's, um, they are in terms of moving the body. I mean, I would start, um, uh, meditation would be something that I would consider yep. and that I am doing. Yep. And that is just to find a place in a chair with a cup of tea, maybe, um, some of those rituals that you bring into the day, yep. um, start to, diary this morning when i get up i'm gonna um sit up in my bed with a cup of tea yeah. and just fold my body forwards and back and side to side moving my head so then you start stimulating the body when i stand up i'm going to walk around the whole house five times all right i'm going to yeah. shake my hands i'm going to move yeah. i'm going to breathe deeply there is so much information online about different breathing techniques maybe that's mind and enriching and nourishing our our mind and our soul is find that book that perhaps you haven't read and yeah. do that as um, something uh, to yes. draw your focus to a point and then use the mind to steer away mm -hmm. and to start using those pictures that we have in our head when we read books you know yes. creative yes. Um, also to um, another way would be to um, I'm a very natural, I'm drawn to art. I, I like making things. Yes. So at the moment for my uni um, presentation, I'm creating, recycling uh, different plastics into uh, making a taonga, which is a, a necklace that are all cut out like leaves and um, nice. feathers. So that's, that's gonna great. be, yes. you know, it's just finding occupying time to use yep creatively with the things that we already exist in our home yeah yeah being creative doing things so mm. is there is, is there some do you want to take us through something would you like to do a little meditation imagining you're waking up in the morning and you've got mm. your cup of tea and so could you you know uh, i'm kind of guessing that there might be some people out there who might be saying i hear what you're saying but i still don't know quite what to do um, mm, yes, so. and it would be to, um, and if we all do it together, and even I'm going to do it right now, if we yes. just close our eyes, yeah, and close, turn in and listen to the texture of the breath first. And what that actually means is that you're listening with your whole body, not just your ears. Maybe there's a sound texture when you breathe in, it's audible or not. And as you breathe out, just listen to the way that that affects the body or, or the body responds to that action. Now do this a couple of more times and just noticing not trying to change anything. And on the next breath, you're gonna to bring to mind, how do I utilize this breath to draw into my body to start moving? You're going to inhale from wherever position that you are into the full body, which means breathe to the fingertips, the toes, into the back, the belly, the chest. And these are all metaphor because we can't actually breathe to these points. We can only breathe to our lungs. But our imagination with the breath allows it to reach beyond creatively to those exterior points or to those tips, to those edges of the body. 
We're going to add in through our mind, just from doing that same work, mahi, is that as we're breathing into those places now, we're adding in a sense of sensation, which is soft. So imagine as you're drawing the breath in through the nostrils, gliding the base of the throat into the head space, into the full body. Imagine that it's very delicate, like a leaf, like a flower, like a, a soft texture. And as you exhale, you're doing that same thought. Now, when you take the next one, imagine that you're reaching your breath beyond yourself to someone in your heart that you love. Whether if it's a friend, whether if it's your, your pet, whether if it's uh, someone who's needing that support, imagine that you're extending your breath beyond yourself to that place. And as you exhale, you're going to exhale and open, and you're going to make a sound. Maybe it's a, a sound audible with a ha, a hiss. Repeat that another couple more times. For the last breath to bring to mind, as you inhale, imagine that you're drawing your full capacity, creativity, everything that you're able to create, whether it be writing, reading, making something, that you're breathing that into the body. And then as you exhale it, imagine yourself doing those things that you're reading, that you're writing, that you're creating, that you're baking. Imagine you're doing those things. On the next breath, we're going to inhale together. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, we're going to open our eyes, exhale. And these are just some very simple tools that we can build in um, to our day that can hopefully move us through the space. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Those, those kind of breath-focused, simple, mindful, gentle, I think, for me, that's just the way I feel I'm going at this moment. I'm an, I'm an extrovert out there person. And my, my, pra my yoga practice is, is internal, particularly mornings. In the evening, I'm a little bit more relaxed with my practice. I'm yeah. uh, kind of a bit looser with it. Um, but I'm kind of feeling that there needs to be a little bit more. There. In the morning, I'm sort of, I, I gave a practice myself on, on, on my page, yes. uh, on my Instagram page. And... Um, because I was leading a class for people, but I realized that I hadn't warmed up myself. Yes. So I was discussing as a teacher, guiding people, but knowing in myself that I wasn't warm. So yes. I acknowledged that, but then yes. allowed and guided people to extend if they wished. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. So it's, it's feeling into our, you said it exactly right. Feel into our own bodies and our own what's happening for us. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of. I'm. I mean, we're all thinking. Everybody's having their own thoughts around this. You know, I, I don't know. There's what over eight billion people in the world, and we're all thinking differently because we're all so different. Um, mm. And what's meaningful for us, for me, is not necessarily meaningful for anybody else. There's lots of different things out there, techniques that mm. we can call upon to use. So, mm. in, and and I know lots of us struggle and. Um, uh, we all struggle. It's not, you know, you, you, a meditation teacher struggles, a yoga teacher. We all have, we all have our thing. So in terms of that kind of breath work, what happens if I'm suddenly finding myself and I'm going, uh, holy shit, this is way too overwhelming for me. What do I do? do? How do I look at my body? How can I come out of that flight and fright? And so do you want to talk a little bit about that? So there's, so it can be kind of utilized in some way for people. Sure, sure. Um, I got most of that only because for some reason you cut out a little bit. Yeah, it's been happening a little um, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and, and it's all good. I, I would say, um, sorry, just once again, just repeat the question because I was thinking yeah, of something else and I got really, away. Yeah, no, that's cool. I was just really thinking that, you know, we, we, we have these movements, we have these breath tools and things that we can use. And what happens when you, when you suddenly feel overwhelmed and you go, uh, holy shit this is way too much for me what can i do i i watched tane's video he suggested this do i st anyway so the question is how how can i utilize that in my daily life when suddenly i feel maybe 
overwhelmed or how I can use it when I'm feeling good to re to help that good feeling um, multiply. Mm. My advice, if per se, if someone was watching my yoga video or my yoga um, Insta live or yours even, and if at any point it does become overwhelming, give them permission just to be still. And even if stillness is not the thing, uh, give them space to stand up, walk around, do something else. And then only when they're ready, they can come back to it. The thing about, um, the thing about a meditation or a seat is that it allows you to feel and there's nothing wrong with feeling. Yeah. There is something quite powerful when we bring our consciousness to how we're feeling and how we're sensing. And, and it's all good. It is all a part of our moving through. And if it means that it's too hard in that moment, cool. You may have only done 10 seconds. That's enough. Yeah. Maybe the next day you come back to that same place and you end on another five seconds. And if that yeah. happens, that's improvement. Yeah. So it's not having to say, I must, I must, I must. Yeah. It's just doing or, or in and breathing into that space. And yeah. when we say breathing into that space, it's so fucking easy, you know? At yeah. times it's not. T totally, yes. In fraction, fraction. Yes. Uh, it's okay to go away. It's okay to turn off the camera. And it's really okay at this time to get really pissed off. Yes. So it's give ourselves um, permission to feel, to cry, yes. to laugh, yes. to share. Yes. And all of those emotions because I think at this time, it's we're experiencing, but knowing that in my heart, your heart, everyone's heart, we're all feeling the same thing. We're all going through this together, yes. which means there's nothing wrong with sharing that because we are all feeling it together, the whole globe. Yes, yeah. So if someone then uh, walk around the house, they're doing their daily things, suddenly it gets overwhelming, to then come to a seated place or stand, become grounded, do a smooth mm. movement of breath, this kind of thing to help someone so that they can get out of that mind's chatter and craziness which we go through to keep coming back. And it's a, it's a kind of... Mm. It's a seesaw event, isn't it, really? And you kind yeah. of, just the kind of thinking of this, it's kind of going like this. Mm -hmm. And with our mm -hmm. mind and focus, we can actually get it so that it doesn't do this so much. And that's, that's right. Um, Th that is right. You, you said it exactly, Paul. Um, and, and that it is, and that swing is, that seat or that swing is going to rock. Yes. And some days it's going to be more overwhelming than others. Yes. And it could be variable. We could have broken sleep. Yes. Um, I think as time goes on, it will ease and it will soften. But occupy yourself with something. God damn, we're scrubbing a toilet. It could be, you know, emptying out a cupboard. It could be changing your clothes 50 times a day. Yes. Ever it still moving the body. So the main thing is to, um, and you don't even have to be aware, feel, lean into it, move the body. Yeah. Wash the dishes, bend over, pick up something, vacuum, clean that, that funny thing, read. Your house is going to be pretty something. tidy after this, isn't it? My house is going to be gleaming, I tell you. <laughs> Can you come out and do mine too? <laughs> Um, so basically we're looking then, at how can we... I mean, we... the one thing that I'm going to yeah. do is today is um, I'm looking, you know, my garden is, is back up and running. Yes. I'm going out there to chop all the branches and things to make into compost. And that's just my way. Yes. That's my way of getting through it for myself. It's my alone time. It's my yes. love time. Yes. I feel like I'm getting my hands into Papa Tuanuku, the whenua, the land, nourishing, yes. and I'm able to nourish my community with the vegetables yes. that I grow. So that's my gift back. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your gift today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for sharing. And this is You're just welcome. looking at ways that we can not get so wrapped up in our minds chatter in that craziness and see if we can just, you know, in a sense, it's taming the wild monkey mind. 
I've got an incredible wild monkey mind. <laughs> I think I can be very I think, creative. Uh, too, I, 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 yeah, I, I've got a creative monkey mind, but yeah. cray cray. Yeah. Uh, yes, and that's all good. We're allowing you. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing. Can can I can Thank we you, can we touch base in a day or two, or if you feel moved, sure. give me a call yeah. and we'll do another one. If you've got something yeah, sure. that you feel you want to share, and maybe we'll look at doing. You can share some of your um, your massage work to help people, yeah. so that we can, they can massage Absolutely. each other, and you can start having a cool time with people. You're stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. No problem. Okay, beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. Take it easy. Take care. Namaste. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>